Welcome in everyone, hopefully everyone's doing well. Uh, we're trying something new today. Since my upload speeds has have been uh, real crappy as of late, I'm trying I'm trying to see how a pre-recorded stream would work. So what you're seeing right now is something I recorded on Friday, May 12th. <laughs> Today, today is May 12th. Today, I mean today as of recording this. You might see this, uh, you might see this on, uh, Saturday. Not, not, uh, not the day after, but Saturday... To wait, one week, one week after this. <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, welcome in. Uh, hopefully it's everyone's doing well hopefully this will uh go well and also uh i'm also gonna be uh i'm also gonna be hanging out in chat with with all of you as we're watching this hopefully the delay uh that way won't matter that much by the way hi future me <laughs> hopefully you're doing much better than you were this past week uh yeah we're playing Cozy Growth, uh, uh, not, well, not just today, but I was thinking about playing Co uh, Cozy Grow uh, during this pre-recorded stream thing. Because of the, because of the pure nature of the game. Excuse me for a second. I don't know what, I don't know why I started coughing right now. Uh, because but because of the nature of the game, I want to see how Cozy Grow will, would work. I say because of the nature of the game. This game is kind of unique because it gives you quests, but it gives you a certain amount of quests you can do in one day, which means that if you if you do all of the quests for that day, uh, if you do all the quests for that day, you have to wait for the next day to come. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to uh, do this pre-recorded thing with Cozy Grow. Or at least start it off. And this game is kinda long. Kinda. <laughs> We're gonna be playing it for a while. <laughs> I think. So let, let's start this off. I did play it a little bit in my off time, I never finished it. Uh, currently it's a spring event, which uh, I think it, it gives you some duckies, which I'm very excited about because I love ducks. <laughs> and I'm gonna be gushing about ducks the whole time. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very cozy game. Um, kind of... It tends to be a little bit emotional, not as emotional as Spirit Fair, but it, it, it kinda has its moments. Welcome to the Spirit Scouts! Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Okay, so this is character uh, creation. Uh, let's see... I always go for the palest tone, but I think this is a bit too pale for me, so I'm gonna go with this one. Eyes, let's see. I honestly, personally, I'm not a cute. I'm not a huge fan of uh, light, light colored eyes <laughs> in any video game. They look too creepy, and this character doesn't have any pupils. I think so. Let's actually go with brown. My eyes are brown in real life, so hair. Is this hairstyle? Oh, hairstyle and color. This one, um, let's see. Oh, I see. Okay, so hair hairstyle is in this row or column. I think those are called columns, and hair colors are in rows. Okay, so let's see. I think I like the red color better. I do kind- I do love the red color in the- uh, red hair color in, in real life. I think it's my favorite. 
I don't think it would fit me well. I think I, uh, I would prefer to have teal colored hair, personally. But I do love red hair. Red color. Red colored hair, goddamn. Uh, I think... On my personal uh, save file, I have this hairstyle. And I think I'm gonna go for it now as well. Looking good! Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout Modo, all those who are lost deserve kindness. Exactly. Uh, okay, let's see. We have this here, I don't know, I kind of forgot what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to find our first bear? I mean, they, they, they did say use extreme caution, but like... I don't trust that. I think bears and oh, press A. <laughs> okay, there we go. Good thing the game told me. Cough, cough, cough. How old are the those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Haunted bear infested island. <laughs> some place called Cozy Grove. Um, some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove. I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures, tossed into my em embers. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Oh well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there, beyond my firelight? Uh, yes, very ready. That's the spirit. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. The fire seems brighter. You are now scout rank 1. And we have our quest. We have our first spirit here. And yes, they are all bears. <laughs> huh, another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am. Well, I haven't heard the news this exciting since the baby warbles hatched. Welcome to Camp, Ca uh, Camp Cozy Grow. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Uh, also, if I keep getting muted, uh, if, I, if I suddenly mute, it, it means I have to cough real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I wasn't expecting that to happen today. Oh my, you're a spirit scout! That does change the forecast a bit. I mean, it was sunny earlier, now it's raining. And <laughs> so it's quite it quite literally changes the forecast. What's the sun behind the clouds, so to speak? Exactly! <laughs> um, That's right, 100% bonafide scout. Is that a problem? A problem? Hmm... You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Okay, we have a memory. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past though, is there? You're, you're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a woodlock. Find it and toss it, in the f toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Okay, so we have... Uh, wait. No, okay. We have a quest to find the spirit log. 
Does it say where it is? No. It just say drop the spirit wood into the fire. Oh, it's right here. Okay, there we go. Get up. And toss. Here's a log for you. Oh, he's 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 big. <laughs> he's pretty. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? Um uh, From a bear in a rain no oh, well we did find it, but a ghost told me about it. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, that spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see. Someone new. A crafter of useful things. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out, out, ah, out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure, sure to call some distant campers home. Alright, we advanced our story and we have a new bear unlocked, I'm pretty sure. Which is right over here. And we have an achievement as well, so I need to check that out. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Uh, you're sorry? For what? For haunting a perfectly good island. The island- the, the, the last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife, glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folk like yourself. It's unseemly. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, Maker Buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise, I'll make it worth your while. Three branches, okay. Um... The good thing about this is, if you get a quest that, um... Uh, that asks you to find something, it tells you where where it is. Like it it gives you a hint where you should look. Uh balancing beach stones, okay. So it's probably most likely on the beach. One is over here. And I see another one over there. Okay. Near where what did it say? Near a folding chair. It's gonna be near that, uh, ranger ghost. Over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Uh, pick it up. There we go. And bring it back. Uh, select. Look at these sticks! What beauties! A twist here, a scoop there, and voila! Your first shovel! Not my finest work, my paws kept slipping through the lath. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel would do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout! My haunting is complete! I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it! Darn it! One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not! Well, don't worry, I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Haha, <laughs> I see, I see what you did there. <laughs> Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log too. Alright, we got another spirit log we can toss into the fire. But first, before I forget, I do want to check out the... What's it called? The achievements. There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that's all. And let's bring this... Uh, wait, let me dig this up first. I can remember how. There we go. Okay, actually I 
don't think I need to, uh, I need to have this selected, right? Yeah, okay. I don't have, I don't need to have it selected. I can just, I can just walk up to the dirt mound and, and, uh, dig up some treasures. Here's another log for you. Well done! My light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has no has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Alright, so we have Mr. Kit and... Uh, I'm gonna introduce you to Mr. Kit because I... You're, you're gonna see why I love him. He's a fox bear! <laughs> I'll buy your stuff. Um, I don't really... I don't really want to sell anything right now. But thank you, Mr. Kit. <laughs> He's very cute as well. I, I love his design. Look at him. So smi- look at that smiley face! <laughs> uh, okay. I forgot your name, I keep forgetting the bear's names. I should probably remember them. I know I would feel... Not well if someone, uh, someone forgot- Someone didn't even bother to remember my name. I mean, I can understand because it happens to me, but... I don't know. <laughs> it happens to me as well. Like if I if I know that I'm never I'm I'm not going to see that person ever again in my life. I'm going to I'm going to just forget it. It it just vanishes from my memory. <laughs> can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on this island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Okay. Is that from this one? No. Okay. So where is it? I heard it was closed by a dead tree with a bird's nest. That tree with a bird's nest. I don't think I saw any dead dead trees with bird's nest over here. So it must be on the beach somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on the beach. Oh, wait, there's one. Um, Is it over here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. There's a leaf pile. Hey, nice. I'll get back to you soon, new spirit. I just need to complete this quest. Otherwise, otherwise I'll completely forget about it. Wait, do I? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I could pick that little can up, but I guess not. Uh, there you are. Lit. That's it! Why, it's an old spirit scout wilderness guide! And hey, the memento collection portion of this book is still intact! That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, you got on a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress helping the spirits of Cozy grow. Would you like to look at the memento collection book now? Uh, show me my sweet... Oh, I honestly I forgot this was a thing. I forgot I could review memories of other spirits. One out of eight, two out of seven. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. And we got another spirit wood. Okay, let's toss this into the fire real fast. Here's a log. Delicious! Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. 
Uh, Mr. Kid has a quest for me. Does he? Or maybe he doesn't. Why, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. Or maybe you don't know my name at all. <laughs> I have a standing agreement with the spirit scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. Uh, what are you selling? Ooh, fishing rod. I do need a fishing rod. Uh, take my money. And it's cheap, only 20 coins, so... Pretty good deal. Uh, I'm gonna buy a critter's net. Oh, or maybe not! 7,500... Uh, 500 coins. Same for a camera as well. I'm gonna need both of them at one point. But for now... Uh, we do have these uh, spirit birds as well. Um... They do give out some uh, crafting items, but we are going to uh, get some from from various other other quests as well. So I'm not gonna bother buying them yet. Okay, let's see. I don't have a pickaxe yet to break this rock, unfortunately. So that's gonna gonna have to skip that. Let's go visit that spirit on the beach, over here. <laughs> Captain Bill Weather Snout! In life I was a bear of the sea. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again, a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. Oh, he was a captain! That's really cool. And now I am transformed. Avast, young person! How long have ye, be have ye been standing there? Ye caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Billweather Snout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. Seagull bear? Pleased to meet you, Billweather. I don't know as we've reached a first name basis, young sailor. Captain will do, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, for a love of fish. Speaking of, are ye hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. I do have a fishing rod, I, I bought one. Aye, sailor, that will do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. A whopper! <laughs> I'm gonna go to Burger King and catch us a whopper. <laughs> uh, okay. I need to equip this. And let's see if I remember... Yeah, okay. I need to press the shoulder buttons and use to... Uh, in, in order to use the fishing rod. Right? Long nose Link. Wait, is the... Oh, the quest is actually complete. Never mind, I wasn't supposed to go fishing. I thought I was for some reason. I mean... I say for some reason, but he did say go fetch us something to eat. And I happily obliged. I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you caught, you got or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. Any fish? Okay, you can have the fish I caught. Ah, fine fin you've managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think he and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea... Oh no, we're stranded here! My boat did what? 
Oh yes, a loose knot and a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself, this island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes, churned by our, our wretched tales of ghastly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. With our plans ye had of solving all our go ghost ghostly problems in a single evening. Put them out of your mind. We pairs aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbor, Squawk! <laughs> Squawk? Well, in that case, please, a pleasure to meet you, neighbor. Uh, and thank you for the log. Let's give this to our our friend. I call him Calcifer, but I think I'm pretty sure his name is just Flamey. Yeah, it is Flamey. I call him Calcifer, though, from Howl's, Howl's Moving Castle. Here's a log for you. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears, guide them through remembering themselves, eventually they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further, illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to, to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. All right, fire seems brighter. Uh, where is he, though? Wait, she's got something else to say. Can I help you? You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm or of a young placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. There we go. So now we need to buy one of those birds from Mr. Kit's, Mr. Kit's shop. Uh, and it's this one. The cheapest one, I think. I'm pretty sure that was the cheapest bird. Uh, okay. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you play this, place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Alright. Uh, got some spirit wood as well. So, let's... Uh, place it... Let's place it... Uh, over here, I think. Alright. And I can pet it. I can pet the bird! <laughs> Creature seems to like you. What would you like to name it? Ooh. Echo Waldo Birdie Quibbly. More names. Uh, I'm gonna look... Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, always pick... Choose... Choose... Between the names that are presented first. So... I think I wanna go with Waldo. Just for the meme. Where's Waldo? <laughs> he wants donut, but I don't have any. Okay. Here's a log for you. Four more logs before I'm full. Okay. Someone has a log they can give you. Let me just uh, take this achievement. There we go. Animal Minder. All right, and we should un unlock. We should have unlocked a new spirit. Yes, there we go. Patrice Furbeck, the postal bear, at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd been. I'd be in it for life, and I was. 
but I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag? Ooh, busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boos boots up, my, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800, 0800 sharp. I, re I relayed those deliveries to the listed re residences. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning, looking for new arrivals. But I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. More packages. Uh, where is this one? Near a skull. Hmm, okay. I think I saw some skulls down on the beach, so... Let me check there first. And let me, in the meantime, like, not in the meantime, on the way there, dig up some, uh, some materials. Yeah, there's, a, there's one skull over here. There's the package, I see it. Hold on. There we go. There we go, found it. First try. Alright, uh, select. Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package. The thrill of checking for, for a well-formatted address. Address, <laughs> not address. Address. Let me be straight with you. I love this job, but I could use a postal helper to help me with the USDs. USDs, uh, let's see. Postal helper. What's a USD? Sorry, that's a postal slang. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Okay. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Aram Aramaic or spewing demon fire, well, you just send that puppy my way. Alright? <laughs> no problem. That's a new memory here. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. Uh, okay. I got two, actually. Um... Uh... Test, test, test. Test mail from Postal Bear. Hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself, so you could see how it works. I've also included a little thank you gift for your help. Oh, there we go. Parsnips, nice. And this one. Cheerio, Scout. Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself, and when you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. I'll try to write to you every day unless I get busy. Okay? So we we have we're gonna receive mail every day. Although I don't intend on playing this game every day, just because I have a lot of things to do right now. For in in real life, I mean. Uh, can I help you with something? Heads up, postal helper. Looks like another past marked delivery incoming. When. When you're alive, letters arrive at the post office a few days after they're sent. But ghost letters, they don't run on regular time. And they're likely to show up at non-standard ad addresses, like in leaf piles or behind rocks. So if you find any letters out there, please bring them by the office. Right, no worries. Uh, close to a giant clamshell. I do remember seeing a clamshell down on the beach. Let me check that. You have a quest as well, but I want to tackle uh, these quests one at a time. I think I saw a clam over here, no? 
I thought I did, okay. Never mind. Oh, uh, let's see. I know I saw it somewhere. There's one leather. But I don't think... Yeah, that's not... There it is! There's... Uh, that's the leather I was looking for. Amphitheater behind... Beneath a... Am... The what theater? <laughs> the what theater beneath a tree? Amph... Amph... Amphite... Amphitheater... Amphitheater... Oh my lord, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Hold on. Beneath the tree, behind something. Um, I might have to look up... Uh... What the frick is that? A duck nest! Yo, that's for the spring event. Nice. I wonder what I can do with this. Okay, let's see. Might have to look out what this thea what this something theater is actually. Cuz I have no idea. Wait, did it say beneath a tree? Oh no, behind something. Okay. So, my guess for now is that that little Something theater is one of those trees that have like a little hollow in them and something is lurking in it, in that hollow. Um I'm not sure if I'm correct though. Or maybe it's it's uh it's one of the trees on the beach. Next to the seagull captain. Because I don't see any trees like the one I described now. There are gonna be some later on, but right now there's none of them. Um, uh, hmm. There's no trees over here, though. It did say behind something, so, so I should check behind every little little thing. Um, yeah, I don't see it over here. Uh, okay, let me look up what that what that something theater actually is. Uh, let's see. Um, the theater. Amphitheater beneath a tree. What? <laughs> Beneath a tree. Hmm. I don't recall seeing s anything like that in on this island yet. Amphitheater beneath a tree. Is that it? It, oh, that could be the thing! Yes! Hold on. Uh, behind something. It, there we go! Nice, 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 nice. Okay, good thing I went to check what that word meant. I kind of had my suspicion, but... Um... I had my suspicion because it sounded similar to the word we're using for that thing. Uh over here in Croatia <laughs> but I wasn't hundred percent sure because as I said I don't I I didn't remember when I when I saw the word amph amphitheater I imagined those 
big Roman uh, amphitheaters, <laughs> right? <laughs> so and and I didn't and I didn't uh, have no memory and I had no memory of seeing a thing like that on this island yet. <laughs> Hey, you found some loose letters! A thank you card for Jeremy, lawsuit notice for Clyde, bills for my wife Anja, and here's one for me! Ah, threat of dis disembowelment by a hundred skeletal claws. Standard stuff. I'll make sure the rest of these get to the right place. And hey, check in with me once in a while in case I've got anything for you. Okay, no problem. We got more spirit lo spirit wood, <laughs> spirit logs. Scout book page as well. Do I need to give this to the ranger? I think I do. Uh, first of all, I I do want to uh, give the spirit log to to Flamey. Here's a log. Only three more left. Okay. Wait, do I have more of them? I do actually, okay. I was not aware of that. Here we go. Two more logs. Maybe close, maybe far. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. I was just thinking, this island is very haunted. Glad a spirit scout like yourself showed up. What's this page exactly? Oh, this object is important to someone, but they may not be ready to receive it yet. Hold on to it for a little while longer. Okay, so that signifies an object that's important for a, for a quest. Like, an object that's, a, that's uh, actually a key item, but it's not... Uh, uh, you're not able to do anything with it right now. Okay, what about you? What do you need? Can I help you with something? Hey there, make your buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. Uh, for what? I made you that slipshot shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First though, I'm going to need some soft wood, root vegetables and wood branches. Okay, I have everything! Nice! <laughs> Quite a lot of materials you gathered. And I bet you're wondering, what sort of tool is he going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself? My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and gr get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. Ah, okay. Want to make something. Okay, nice. Do I have to build something? That's my question. Uh, I think I got a table from a quest. Let me check. Got it. Poppy, duck nest. No, I got a barrel. Okay. I think I want to get a uh, chair. No. Actually, a table. I'm gonna get a log cabin table. Here's the materials. Crafted, okay. Uh, I did get some more recipes. And I did get another spirit plug. Oh, a skateboard! Nice! <laughs> Common wicker ornament. Ooh, that's pretty! I like of any campsite. Okay, cool. Uh, whoops, did not mean to do that. Giant rose, nice. Uh, okay, let's get back to Flamey then. Here's a log for you. Delicious! Just one final log and I'll be full. I sense at least two logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. 
Okay, so this, uh, this, uh, stream is gonna be, uh, it's gonna, I, I don't expect other streams to be as long as this one, honestly. We just started out and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of seagulls, uh, not seagulls, a lot of bears, <laughs> bear spirits to meet. Uh, what do you have to say? A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Okay, so we're looking for feathers. Look by a tarp. Okay, there's one over here. I lost it by a supply shelf. These look like some sort of... Ah, there it is. And I see another one as well. Near a postal scooter. Okay, let me see. Postal scooter. There it is. Ah, there it is. Okay. Close to a giant clamshell. Okay. Now I know for certain where that clamshell is, so... There we go, I see it. Okay, that's all. It looks like that's everything. Are you sure five feathers is gonna be enough? Squawk! That's a fine set of feathers! But why bother helping me, little castaway, when ye have such troubles of your own? Ah, uh, Just being neighborly. Far neighborly. You might find some what put stock in that concept here in Cozy Grove, but it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, I thank ye. With these bits of fluff padding my coat, the, the wind's bite does lose its teeth. But bundled so, our rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, ye cannot refeather your wings. What does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea where he was going with that, uh, that, with that point. Okay, but we got another log, which means we should unlock, uh, another bear. There we go. I'm getting hungrier for more spirit wood each time you feed me. And that spirit wood is growing harder to find. How can that be when there are still so many needy shadows hi hiding in Cozy Grove? I can feel at least 13 more lost, lost souls waiting to be helped. Wait! I see someone standing in the forest. Or am I mistaken? Perhaps that's just an oddly shaped tree. An oddly shaped tree. I think I know who he's talking about. Uh, you have a quest. Can I help you? You're well on your way to being completely orienteered, Scout. I hear you've been hel you've even been helping out other ghosts on the island. That's a nice thing for a spirit scout to do. Hey, since you're out there searching for missing things, you haven't seen my tea mug, have you? A tea mug? I told totally someone near a skull, so close I can taste it, buried under a dirt pile. A skull was... I saw a skull on a beach. It should be there, probably. Uh, buried under a dirt pile. Was it? Yeah. Uh, let's see. So somewhere around here. That's not it, is it? No. Oh, it's a pastry! Nice, okay. Are there more skulls now that I opened up more... Oh, more pastry, okay. Pick it up, please. Thank you. Are there maybe more skulls now that I opened up... Uh... Now that I expanded the area? There could be. Let me check real fast. Nothing here. 
Yeah, I don't think anything's gonna be over here either. Because right now, that skull on the beach is the only skull I know for certain. There's some skulls tied to a stake here. I haven't seen any other skulls so far. It might be near that, uh, that new spirit person we just unlocked. Let me check. There's a leaf pile. Wait, did I get anything from that? I didn't get anything. Wow. <laughs> wow, thank you. So much kindness. <laughs> okay, there's that new spirit, but I'm looking for... Looking for a skull. Yeah, I don't see any other skulls, to be honest. Just that one on the beach. Maybe I missed a dirt pile over there. I probably did. Uh, let me dig this up. Go. Hmm, let's see. Let me go back down to the beach. Uh, whoop. Hold up. There we go. Uh, near a skull. So close I can taste it. So, wait, so close I can taste it, that means it's somewhere close to... to her, then. So, somewhere nearby, so maybe near these little skulls tied to a stake, then. Hmm. Buried in a dirt pile. Uh, let me dig this up. I wonder... I don't see anything. I don't see any... any dirt piles, to be honest. She did say so close I can taste it, so I'm assuming it's it's around here somewhere. Or at least it should be around here somewhere. Mm, let's see. I don't think it is around here. Okay. Ah, this might take me a while to find. Um, here maybe. Wait. Rough bubble coral, okay, that's not it. Uh, let's see. Gosh darn it. This is a skull, right? So if that's skull, then a dirt pile sh Oh, there it is! Is that it? It is! There we go! My good god! Why was that so hard to find? I literally found all of the pastries before I found that one tea mug. Goodness gracious. Okay, here you go. 
It's so nice to see my mug again. I think I lost it yesterday? Given my ghostly condition, it's hard for me to be sure. A ghost's existence is a little... confusing, you see. Our sense of the here and now is all mixed up with our memories of our past lives. Objects from the past tend to appear and disappear as we think about them. So this here, it might be my old rangers mug. Or it might be a memory of a mug made, by, made solid by energy from the beyond. Sip. <laughs> Either way, it's these hot and tasty. I think that's that's the sipping sound I should have made. <laughs> okay, long burner. And there's more, okay. There's a lot of these quests right now. There we go. Uh, let's see. I think that's soul. Okay, let me give you a spirit log. Six more logs, okay. Two logs out there, maybe close, maybe far, okay. Uh, who... I think you gave me... Not gave me, yeah, you have a quest for me. I have some new recipes available. Can I help you? Hello again, maker buddy. I've been thinking about you, stuck here on Cozy Grow. You and I, we're sort of in the same pickle barrel, aren't we? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Oh, sorry, I must have gotten something. I pressed A too quickly. <laughs> Stick to woodworking and leave clever sayings to the professionals. That's what my mom always said. All I mean is, neither one of us quite knows what we're doing here, do we? But I can help you dig a little deeper into this mystery. With five branches and one piece of softwood, I think I can do just that. Okay, I have everything! Take it! <laughs> Take it and give me that pickaxe. That's great! I was worried I'd ask too much of you. Here you go, your very first pickaxe. It's a little flimsy, but it should let you dig right into the rock of the island. And while digging, if you happen to find any answers about why I'm doomed to haunt this place, well, I wouldn't mind knowing is all. Alright, we have a pickaxe, finally. Although we don't, uh, we don't have the ability to break, th break to, into, uh, the biggest rocks. Only the small ones, for now. Which is good enough. Oh, wait, did I get a spirit log? No, okay. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the... the remaining two from this spirit right here. Hello there, sorry to keep you waiting. Francesca Duclos! Who dares? Who dares disturb the forest? Uh... Just a spirit, just a spirit scout. I mean no harm. A spirit scout? Really? So, someone's finally come to clean up our mess. I thought you were just a nymph, back to torment me as usual. It's been a while since we've had a living, breathing creature in these woods. For decades, it's just been me and my fellow trees. Uh... So, you're a tree also? Yep, the, the only tree in this clearing with manners, apparently. Emerson, Carson, Cow Cow, Thoreau, say hello to our guest. They must be feeling shy. Of course, I'm a little different from your typical tree. I'm sure you know this. It's my embarrassing lack of leaves. The imps plucked them off me years ago and scattered them across the island. Would you mind finding my leaves for me? No problem. Look by a boat. A boat? But my boat is gone! <laughs> I'm stranded here on this island. Oh, wait, a boat! It's on the beach next to the seagull guy. Ahoy, Captain! Or Captain. Should I... Okay, here's a question. Should I attempt a Scottish accent for this guy? I feel like I should, but I don't want to butcher it and 
embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, wait, what? All oh, right, I'm looking for leaves. Uh, there's one. I see it. Cup. By a tarp. Okay. It's right next to the that crafter, buddy. This one. Oh, there's another one, okay. Uh, by a tarp. I did look by a tarp. Was that not it? Uh, hold on. There's a lot of tarps here, to be honest. Wait. Uh, doesn't say anything. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. I... wait. Near a fallen log. Hmm... wait. Can I harvest this? Apparently I can, okay? Never mind. I thought I couldn't harvest it yet. Try skipping stones towards clams in the water. I'll try that in a second. I just want to... Well, I did say in a second. I don't think I will try it in a second. Um, I'll try it when I need to. <laughs> when I have the need for it. Uh, for now, I do want to find that fallen log and potentially find that leaf. That last remaining leaf I need for Francesca. Let's see. Okay, but here's the thing about this game. I heard that it can get a little bit emotional, but to be honest, I played quite a bit of this game on my off time um, last year, I think. And it wasn't that emotional for me personally. But the reason for that is because I feel I... I haven't really connected with the char with the spirits in here. Like with spirit fairs, the reason why it's so emotional is because you get connected to, the to those spirits, to those those passengers, and when they're gone, when they're finally ready to move on, you're not ready to to let them go. You don't want them to go, so naturally you cry. <laughs> you cry a lot. And you get heartbroken, like me. And then Summer says that she's proud of you, and then and it breaks you completely. <laughs> oh, there's the fallen log. Uh, there's the leaf. Okay. But yeah, I haven't really cried with this game that much. And wonder if that will change. Although to be to be fair, I haven't really uh, fulfilled uh, like my friendship with these uh, with any of the spirits I unlocked so far is not to the max maximum. It's maybe half of it, maybe to a couple of these spirits. So maybe that's why. Uh, select. Aha! Those are the leaves I was looking for! Thank you! Hmm, I can't seem to reattach them. I can't even find the branches they came from. How strange. Wordsworth? Frost? Any thoughts on the matter? Typical. Most of the time, these trees won't stop rustling. But as soon as I need their opinion, then silence is golden. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't help you. Story advanced. Can I help you? Thanks for your help earlier, little spirit. Did you notice the burst of color that occurred afterwards? Ah, uh, it was hard to miss. I suppose it was rather dramatic. Bringing color to the island is a noble thing. This place isn't meant to be so gloomy and lifeless. I bring this up because my dear friend Torio is in need of your help. 
is the walnut tree over there, just out of reach of my color. He's got an umbrella snagged in his branches that is bothering him terribly. I'd ask you to shake the umbrella free, but because Torio is uncolored, mortals like you can't interact with him. He can't even grow walnuts in his uncolored state. Poor thing. He looks so barren now. You'll need to extend the reach of my color to help him. Take the spirit lamp and place it on the colored edge of my domain to extend it to Torio. Okay. Come along, labin lamp. Common log labin lamp, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed, whatever. L okay, listen, I'm I'm a little bit sleep deprived. I might be a little bit sleep deprived at the time of at the time of recording this, okay? <laughs> There's a reason why I keep stumbling today even more than usual. Uh shake it. Shake it, shake it. There we go. And Thoryu is saved! Select. You got that cursed umbrella out of Thoryu's hair! Now he can finally stop whining about it. You have our gratitude, spirit friend. And while you're here, maybe you could find a new home for my other friend. Here you go. Oh, is it a... is it a log? No. I didn't get a log from you now. Or did I? I did actually, okay. Hold on. Uh, let me bring this. Okay, you have another quest, but let me actually take this to Flamey first. And then I'll talk to you. Only five more logs before I'm full. Someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. Okay. It's most likely Francesca for that quest she wants to give us. So let's see what that's all about. Uh, whoop, I almost missed her. There we go. I was just thinking, trees enjoy company just as you and I do. If you plant trees near each other, it can lift their spirits. They may even reward you with little gifts for being so considerate. Isn't it good to be kind? That's all? Okay. I thought she was gonna give me a... what's it called? A quest, but no, okay. She does have a lot of things I can craft. A lot of dye. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep that in mind. Who's got a quest they can give me? Wait, was it the seagull captain? I don't think it was. It was actually, okay. That ill wind is back. I've been stuffing feathers in my coat all morning to no avail. If I can't get warm from some quarter soon, I'll have to give up my dramatic seaward posture. Oh wait, Scottish! <laughs> Scottish! If I can't get warm from some quarter soon, I'll have to give up my dra dramatic seaward posture. <laughs> I wonder if he could help. Who? Why, the merchant of mischief, trickster of terra firma, my constant tormentor, and <laughs> Mr. Kit. <laughs> Some say he sells wares that he that can cure a captain of his shivers. I shiver me timber. <laughs> but perhaps those are just fishermen's tales. <laughs> oh, dear lord. <laughs> Oh, good god. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey there! Uh, I want to buy- wait, was it buying? Buy it from Mr. Kit's, Kit's store. Okay, oh, clothes. There we go. This one. Buy. Take my money. Uh, no, thank you. I'm fine with the clothing I have right now. Although I really, really, really love the outfit I have in my personal save file. It's orange! <laughs> uh, 
Uh, select? So, the rumors were true. If that fox sells wares as fine as these, I'll permit him to haunt the dry docks for now. Yes, indeed, the chill is fading already. This is a wink warmer of the finest quality. I think I'll add it to my cabinet of the mind. What's a cabinet of the mind? Why every explorer worth their salt has a cabinet of the mind. Though some of the less lyrical among them might call it an item collection. Squawk! It's an imaginary box I used to track the doodads, whelps and gollywoods. The what? <laughs> gollywoods uh, I've come across in my travels. Once you have the idea, you can easily imagine an item collection of your own. Oh wait, wait. Item collection of your own. Th th that's better, <laughs> that's better. Once you have the idea, you can easily imagine an item collection of your own. <laughs> Dear god, uh, right. Is this item collection even real? As real as you want it to be. Ah, I see it taking shape. Anything you'd like to donate? Donate. Do I I don't know. I don't I don't do accents for a reason. <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> uh let's donate everything he wants. I'll archive this right away. Uh okay. Gonna get so many presents. Bear with me now. Well, I say this, but I might not in the end. I keep getting those quartz stone, quartz gemstones, actually, and I still can't figure out what they're for in this game. Like, what do you even use them for? I have so many of those in my personal save file, and I can't get rid of them. Like, what the hell? Okay, I think that's the last spirit log I can get, but let me check on the postman real fast. And see if he's got a side quest for me. He doesn't, okay. There is a leaf pile, though. There we go. And let's bring the log to Flamey and... I... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wrap it up for today. It's a short stream. These streams are gonna be very short. Like, around an hour, maybe even less. Depends. It depends. Here's a log. Delicious! Only four more logs before I'm full. Looks like there are no more spirit logs out there right now. That's alright. We have to help people at the pace they are willing to be helped. Best to relax, ease into the trip, maybe do some fishing, or collect some shells. And when you come back tomorrow, I bet the ghosts will be ready to be helped some more. Alright, but with that being said, uh... Thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, I don't know how this will go. Hopefully, honestly, hopefully my um, ISP will come to its senses soon. Because I need, I need streams and games to, in order to maintain my sanity. <laughs> and in order to work properly, as, as one should. But yeah, hopefully everyone has a great rest of their day. Probably Saturday. I think I'm gonna be streaming this on Saturday. <laughs> hopefully everyone has a great day and... Yeah, take care of yourselves. Uh, these these streams are gonna happen most likely once per week because, as I said, I don't have that much time to record and I need a separate day to record things and then a, another separate day to to stream it. So that's mostly why. Um. The upside of of that is I can I can stream it whenever I want. I can stream it on the weekend. I can stream it in the evening. Finally. <laughs> Finally at the at the time I want. 
Uh, but yeah, until next time, I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. And I'll see you next time. Take care.